Hey everyone, today we're going to start looking at the immune responses, and these are adaptive. These are not innate responses. They are specific to a particular pathogen, something that your body is not normally immune to that you have to build immunity against. So this is, these are things like certain bacteria or viruses, um, and this is typically what you think of in terms of an immune response. So that's the big thing, is that this is uh, an immune response. There's a signal that is sent at one point or another, and your body is responding to it, and there's a few different mechanisms. Uh, the starting point of all of this, though, is this guy, the pathogen. A pathogen pathogen, oops, my highlighter, not a pen. The pathogen is just something that should not be in your body. And when we're looking at the immune response, there has to be some kind of signal, and that starts here with the antigen. An antigen is a chemical signal on the outside of any cell. Um, your cells, your blood cells, have antigens on them that identify them as body blood cells. Pathogens also have antigens or chemical markers on the outside that we, our bodies can recognize as nonspecific. Uh, and there's four different pathways that we're going to look at. So we're going to kind of work our way around the signal, or excuse me, around, around this pathogen and the different ways our bodies respond to this. So the first one is if a cell is infected, this might be something like a virus. So a virus attacks the cell, and viruses turn our cells into little virus factories. It injects some uh, genetic material that takes over some uh, construction processes in the cell, so more viruses replicated rather than the cell replicating protein, for, for instance. Um, when a cell is infected by something like a virus, something that takes over the cell mechanism, it puts out this major histocompatibility complex, or an MHC, and that is this guy right here. And this MHC... It's a protein complex, so here, right, this is a protein, and it contains the antigen. And that antigen is what is recognized by our white blood cells. Uh, and so these antigens, the cell takes it and says, hey, this is something that is in inside of me now. I need to be destroyed. It's, it's essentially programmed cell death by a phagocyte of some kind. Uh, the other thing that that cell is going to do is it's going to release interferons. And interferons are warning signals, warning chemicals to other cells. Uh, and this is, like I said, it's a warning to another cell that, hey, watch out, there is something attacking me right now. You need to put out some defenses. And so in some cases, that might be like a mucosal uh, layer is, is secreted in your, in your body. Um, you might get a fever, things like that. Um, so there's, at the cellular level, that antigen is used in MHC1. All cells except white blood cells, all cells except white blood cells have MHC1. So that's kind of one pathway. Uh, a second pathway, if we come over here, so we've got our pathogens up there, so we're going to zoom in here in the middle. We get this thing called a macrophage. Okay, uh, A macrophage is a white blood cell. Uh, it is a cell that can consume another one. White blood cells have MHC2, major histocompatibility complex 2, uh, and they show other white blood cells what to look for. So they show what to look for. So it's the identifying marker. This macrophage will, can, will hang on to MHC2. Other macrophages will see it, and they'll kind of clue in on that. So as they come across infected cells with that same antigen on the outside here, it will be destroyed. Also note that the pathogen has the same antigen right there. So it can recognize infected body cells as well as invader cells. This will, re will release IL-1 interleukin-1, and that stimulates the production of helper T cells. So again, if you think about our cell pathways, right, our cell pathway is we have some kind of signal, an intermediate can be released into the body that will stimulate some kind of response somewhere else in the body. So helper T cells are created, this is an intermediate. These T cells release interleukin number two, so we've got a second mediary here, or a second intermediate, and that does a couple different things. First of all, cytotoxic T cells are produced. A cytotoxic T cell is one that will c kill a cell of some kind. Um, it's a perforin, so essentially what it does is it comes in, so here's my uh, my antigen, or excuse me, my, my, uh, my pathogen, and this will come in, that, that cell, and it will lyse the cell membrane, it will break out, uh, and that kills that pathogenic cell. Um, so these cytotoxic T cells are the ones actually doing the work in your body. They are the ones who actually hunt down and destroy those pathogenic cells. The other thing that that helper or that IL-2 produced by the helper T cell is it's going to come up here and it's going to stimulate B cells to be produced. Uh, this is the humoral immunity. So this is happening inside of body fluids. 
the humor of your body, the humerus of your body is the fluid inside your body, and that's where the B cells reside. Uh, T cells, on the other hand, this is cell-mediated immunity, and this happens uh, inside tissues. Okay. Uh, so if we go back here to our B cells, um, this is induced, it's an induced response, so the pathogen itself will produce some B cells, but we need to speed this up. So this pathway, right, producing helper T cells, releasing interleukin um, messenger number two, will release uh, a response, or will induce a response to produce B cells, and as they mature, um, those plasma cells and antibodies, right, so we've, you've heard about antibodies before in something like your health class or in other science classes, these antibodies help mark those pathogens, and it then helps those macrophages, right, so it helps these guys find those pathogens for destruction. So this is a very complex system. There's a lot of moving parts here. Um, but all of these things, if you see all these arrows, they're going all over the place. They, this is an immune response. It's, it's a fast, it's a rapid response. And that's the big thing. Uh, this is a higher level animal system. This is, plants do not have such a rapid response system. Insects don't. Um, so we, we, it's an evolutionary advantage to have a rapid response system like this. You should understand what pathways can be taken from the pathogenic so from the perspective of a pathogen, what kinds of things is it stimulating inside of the body to take care of that immune, or what is it stimulating for the body to take care of that invasive, um, the, the invasive cell? Um, and remember, you've, you've also got outside mechanisms, right? Your skin, uh, it protects you from outside um, pathogens from getting in, mucous membranes, uh, oh, yeah mucous memories, things like that, um, also on the outside to help you. It's all part of this immune system to protect your body from pathogens, from invasion. So if you have questions, leave a comment below. Otherwise, I will see you in class.